Marie from Pear Tree Paper Crafts and welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a 12 by 12 process video for you for Lotta Loves Papers so this does class as an advertisement. I am using the awesome Think Happy kit um, which has just come out from Lotta Loves Paper and I've chosen some of the chosen some of the planar papers and I've chosen some of the rainbow papers so as part of my kit I got the embellishment kit, I got the 12 by 12 papers, I got the 6 by 8 paper pad and a couple of the other embellishment bits as well. So I'm using one of the 12 by 12 papers which is that um, kind of blue leafy one and then I've chosen these two smaller pieces from the 6 by 8 paper pad so I've got um, that rainbowy one and that green one. Um, from the paper pads. I've also got those hearts if you can just see to the right of the screen. They are one of the strips off the top of one of the pieces of paper from the 6x8 paper pad um, and I knew I could make use of them on here. I just love the colours so um, I had a reasonably clear idea in my mind of what I wanted to try for this one and I fancied using um, square photographs so I printed these out on my selfie and then I wanted to fill in the gaps with some different pieces of patterned paper so that's exactly what I've done here and I have um, used sort of two or three of each colour um, and they are literally two by two inches each square and the large photograph in the middle is four by four inches um, and I just kind of wanted to go for that sort of diagonal I did have a bit of a play before I started recording the video at putting it not diagonally but straight across the page and it was just it wasn't quite as effective so I really fancied doing something a bit different um, and nothing's mattered here, nothing's got anything sort of behind it, it just all goes on really quite flat to the page and I don't even put any um, dimensional anything um, on the photographs or those little squares of paper and I think it works really well because I add some dimension later using the embellishments. So what I'm doing is literally just using some double sided sticky to stick these down and I am just doing it by eye, I haven't measured other than measuring the sizes of the squares um, I'm not using a ruler or anything, um, I am just sort of doing this by eye so thankfully um, it does go well and I don't need, nothing ends up too wonky um, and there are a couple of pieces that I end up just taking off and, and trimming a tiny little bit off just to make them the right size so that they do all line up correctly, um, that photograph was one of them and then I do just pop extra bits on to make it reach right off the page and just fill in those little gaps there with little tiny triangles of that patterned paper. Um, all this paper looks, all the paper in the kit actually just looks so good together. It was almost too difficult to decide what papers I was going to use. Um, but I thought the rainbow fit really well because in the background of that photograph there are some flowers, um, sort of rainbowy coloured pinks and blues in the background of that picture. Um, and then there's obviously the green and then there's the blue from what my son's wearing um, and then the blue's got the leaves on it all kind of ties in really nicely um, so this does out does actually turn out to be a reasonably simple layout um, using that 4x4 four four and the 2x2 two two squares it kind of just gives you um, the pattern and, and not needing to do a great deal else to it so all I have to do here is just chop off the edges of those ones to make them line up with the edge of the page and then I just have to grab I think oh, I'm just going to stick these little heart strips on I was going to put these on top of the squares and then I decided they had more impact being below um, so I was really quite decisive with this layout and I'm, I'm not normally normally I dither around for ages um, and I was really quite decisive with this one with what I wanted um, and I chose that uh, smile word from the cardstock sticker pack because it was the right colour and perfect title really and then I go through my other bits of embellishments I use these um, thickers, they are just, um, just foamy, propped up on foam um, all different phrases and words and things and I use that wonderful life one and then I use that little tag one as well and then I've also got the puffy stickers I think they are from the Truly Thankful collection by Pink Paisley um, and I just dot a few of those around I have a look to see if there's any more bits that are going to fit but there's nothing else really that I want I have to take a few off and, and have a play but decide that that's actually 
probably quite enough for, for what I wanted to do. I'll pop a couple of hearts on there as well. And I'm really happy with how that's looking. Just checking through and seeing if there's anything else that I wanted to use. But there really wasn't. And then I, uh, I actually left this overnight and came back to it the following morning and decided, um, if you know me, you know I struggle with white space. Um, and I have a need to fill white space. And I have tried really hard on this layout not to fill all the white space. However, I gave in a little bit. Um, and I just wanted to put a little bit of colour either side. And to tie everything together, I decided to not only um, tear a little bit out of each side and back it with that blue, but to also tuck some of the green and the rainbow paper in as well, just to really tie everything together and use those colours right across the page. So I use a little bit of wet glue on the smaller pieces. And I position the paper at the layout on top of those so that they are in the right place and then I use a uh, double sided sticky tape just to adhere that last uh, strip of blue behind then I do exactly the same up here and that is about the end of my layout very simple very effective thank you ever so much for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and keep your eye out for more layouts that I'm going to be doing using this brilliant Think Happy kit from Lottie Loves Paper bye for now